Sweet. All right, guys. This is Trey with Total Dose Game. We're going to do one more deck profile. You guys have been asking for this for a while, and I have not been able to give it to you. I've upgraded it for a little bit, a few times, but we were asking about this back before the Indianapolis Regionals, and I, it was just my fault. I'm very sorry. Um, This is my, I guess it was Prism Burn deck. It's um my Star Dragon World deck for Prism Dragons. Um, So my buddy is the Spinal, uh, Spinal Crystal Dragon... Spiratus. Um, anyways, we're gonna get into the deck profile. Um, all right, so with the buddy, we play four copies of the buddy. So the reason why I'm asking is I want to build the water deck. The buddy is a seven two seven with a call cost of pay one gauge. His ability is act counter counteract during the attack phase on your during an attack on your opponent's turn. You may pay two gauge if you call this card from your hand to onto your center without paying its call cost and change the attack change the target attack to this card. When this and then the other ability is when this card enters the field during your opponent's turn, deal two damage to your opponent. And then it has built-in counterattack. So they attack you, or they attack one of your little monsters. You just call it to the center. In perfect reality, you have your item equipped in your 9-9 when you call it center. Deal two damage to your opponent, and then the item will affect and automatically burn it from one. So, all right. So we're gonna move on. Uh, so our others will play. Four copies of crystal glass crystal dragon. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce this name. Uh, Wish connect. Uh, it's a six zero six. Call cost. Put top card deck in this card. Soul pay two gauge. At the beginning of your opponent's final phase, deal three damage to your opponent. And it's got soul guard and counter attack. So. Hopefully you want to start off with this card and just hope your opponent's not playing a rush deck. Yeah, I got that. Um, but this card is really good. If you can nullify the attacks or there's a way to call it during your opponent's turn. There's like two different ways to call it in this deck during your opponent's turn. And then they just can't kill it. Then you just burn them for three damage to start the final phase. But um, we'll play that at four of. And then we we'll play four copies of Jade Crystal Dragon Chartreuse. Um, so Chartreuse is a 6-2-6. Six, six. Call cost pay one gauge. If you have an original size 3 Prism Dragon on your center, the size of this card on your field is reduced by 3. So it's a size 3 that becomes a 0. Um, so it's a six, essentially it's a 6-2-6 six, six, size 0. That's just great. Um, other ability, at the end of this turn, at the end of the card, at the end of the, uh, at the end of the battle, that a prism dragon on your field was attacked. Any prism dragon. If you have a prism dragon on your center, deal one damage to your opponent. This ability only activates once per turn. So, it has the same ability as our item. We'll get into our item in a little bit, but... So far you're getting the idea. Like, all we do is just control the board on our field, keep them alive, and just auto deal damage to the opponent. So our remaining size threes, we play two Quintessence Crystal Dragon of Thor. We do this as our alternate three for the center. If we don't open up with the hand that we want to like keep my cards from being effect blown up, we start with this one just because. He's a 727. Call calls, put top two cards of your deck in this card's soul and pay through gauge. If this card is on your center, this card on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects and can your opponent cannot deal da I cannot be dealt damaged by my opponent. It has double attack and soul card. You guys know this is the main this is the main card for Prism Dragons. But um, as our deck it's just used as like an alternate. So uh, we're on that two up. Alright now we're gonna move on. We play two size ones. We're testing this right now. Um, this is the new um, Fist Fighter of can't read this up, so I don't have so much words. Fist Fighter of Blistering Kicks, Kanata. Um, he, this is the Adventure of Prism Dragon from the uh, Level Up Heroes. He's a 2 2 2, size 1. If you have an original size 3 or greater monster on your center, the size of this card is reduced to by 1, so it'll be a 0. Its ability is Dazzling Kicks. When the card on your field link attacks, any card on your field link attacks, you gain one life and deal one damage to your opponent. This ability only activates once per turn. This, it's good. 
overall, it's a lot better in Adventures if you want to play it in Adventures, but we're trying to test it in this deck to see if it will work right. Um, but this is the only card that we're really not sure about in this deck. Everything else we love so far. Um, but all right, so we're gonna move on to that's it for our ones. We're gonna move on to our zeros. So we played three Red Crystal Dragon Marineal. The name's bad. Yes. Um, what are you watching? Oh, okay, fine. Fine. Um, it's a 2 1 1 with the ability of Red Jewel Tears. Uh, during your opponent's turn, when a Prism Dragon monster on your field is destroyed, put top card of your deck in your gauge and draw a card. This ability only activates once per turn. It's a name state ability, so you can only use one of it per turn. Um, it works on itself, so if this card would be destroyed, you still get the effect. Um, it's good. Uh, it just helps us out a lot with our hand size. Um, for our other zeros, we played two copies of White Crystal Dragon Pinot Grius. Um, it's a 006k defense. Um, at the beginning of your opponent's final phase, deal one damage to your opponent. So it's basically the size three, just a size zero, and it only deals one instead of three. It's still good. Um, it's got really good defense. If they don't want to constantly be pinged at the end of their turn, then they have to kill it. Um, it just absorbs attack sometimes. Um, anyways, that's it for our monsters. We're going to move on to our items. So we play four copies of Crystal Spikes. This is our 004 defense. Pay one gauge to equip. If the prism on your center, let's see, the abilities of the prism dragon on your center cannot be nullified, and it gets plus two, plus two, and this ability cannot be nullified. And then at the end of the battle that a prison dragon monster on your field was attacked, if you still have a prison dragon on your center, deal one damage to your opponent, this ability only activates once per turn. So guys, like the rest of the cards that you've seen so far, aside from like two, the deck is burning. Like you just constantly burn your opponent. That's how you win. Um, Alright, so we're going to start with our spells. So my favorite spell in the deck, um, and it com only comes in the secret pack, is Prism Interrupt. So you may only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn. Cast cost. Return a size 3 Prism Dragon from your field to your hand. Counter. Choose and use one of the following two effects. You can only cast Prism Interrupt once per turn. Call a Prism Dragon monster from your hand by paying its call cost. Or the other ability is return a monster from your opponent's field to its hand, to the owner's hand. So, against Chaos, we're gonna try and return the Chaos to your gods. Um, against anything else, we're gonna constantly try and call. If it's one of their first attacks and we can't live through it with what we're on, we'll call our buddy out. If it's like their last attack or one of their very last attacks, like they've only got like one other, we'll call this one out and just have a way to protect it. Um, and deal three damage this way, or we call this, we call out the buddy and deal two damage. So it's really good. It loops out attacks. It makes the attack fizzle when they attack you, and then you just get to call out to do more damage. Um, we love this card. Um, anyways, we also played a four of our. Brush upper. This is our you can only cast it if there's a prism dragon on your center. Counter. Choose a prism dragon on your field. During this turn, the next time that card will be destroyed, it remains on the field. If you have six life or more, put the top card of your deck in gauge. So this just saves our monsters and gives us gauge. Um, run out of four of. Um, next, we run out of three of Neo Dragon Protector. Uh, it's cast cost, pay one gauge, counter, choose a monster and field for this time, this turn, the next time it will be destroyed, nullify its destruction. So it completely nullifies its destruction instead of just leaving it on the field. And for this turn, give that card counter attack. So, most of our size, th our, our, our two main size threes that we go into have counter attack already. Um, this can give a four counter attack, and it can give a... Uh, we well, can give anything counterattack, but like the ones that you want to give counterattack are the one with the high stats. So obviously a Thora, 
the uh, the one that deals damage and the spire and our buddy. So like it's it's good for one gauge. It's worth it. We always get gauge in this deck. And our last technical nullify, and this is this one's actually the only nullify in the deck. Um, Prism Canceler. Uh, you only cast a card during attack on your opponent's turn if you have a Prism Dragon on your center. Now it doesn't say monster, so you can cast it while you have an item, because the item is Prism Dragon and it works just fine. Counter nullify the attack. If you have an item equipped, this card cannot be nullified. So it's great. Um, I like it. I'm, I'm thinking about working in one more right now. I cannot, but we'll see. Alright, so now we're gonna we play three enhancement. Alright, I'm gonna be straight with you. I don't run four because I don't have four. If I did, I would. But this is uh, put top card of your deck in your gauge. And then if you have a size three prism dragon monster on your center, draw a card. You only cast enhancement once per turn. Um, so gauge and draw. You have to have it. It's good. Um, now we run an overabundance of size three. So with that, we run three prism relics. Prism relic is cast cost. Discard a size three monster from your hand. Put the top three cards of your deck in your gauge. Gain one life, and you draw a card. So. You cast this card and you lose a card from hand, so technically you neg two, but then you gain three. The life gain and the draw card balance out the negging two, and then uh, you just gain three gauge. So like it's really good. Um, but we have an overabundance of three, so this helps us get rid of dead cards late game um, and early game. Um, next we play two crystallization phenomenon. Um, you only cast this card if there's a monster on your center. If the monster on your center is being destroyed during this turn, cast cost, pay one life, counter, draw a card, then choose a monster on your opponent's field. For this turn, nullify its abilities of the chosen card and rest it. You can only cast this once per turn. It's really good. Um, it's, it's great against Purgatory Knights. It's great against El Diablo and Chaos because you just auto rest it before they can get they can get through it. Um, it's good. Joe, stop moving the camera. I'm centering the picture. I don't care about the picture being centered. Uh, anyways, yeah, we're on that two of. Um, next we run out of two of the uh, promo. Um, I honestly forgot how we got these, but we got these. Uh, selection of a Thor. So you only cast this card if you have Prism Dragon Monster and an item on your field. Um, that's how I got them. I got them from Brett. All right, choose and use one of the following two effects. You can only cast this once per turn. Choose a Prism Dragon Monster on your field, and for this turn, give it Crit plus one and Penetrate. Or put a Prism Dragon Monster from your drop zone in your hand, and put the top card of your deck in your gauge. Um, it's good. It has conditions, so it makes it to where sometimes early game you may not be able to play it as much. But late game is pretty good if you want to push for game, give the extra crit and penetrate. Or if you really need to gauge and you don't have any monsters in your hand, you like top deck this. It does really good um, that way. Um, so we run that as a two of. Um, next for our last spell, we run two Astrium effect. Um, you can only cast this card if you have a Prism Dragon on your field. Cast cost discard two cards from your hand. Counter, choose and use one of the following two. For this turn, all monsters in the field cannot be destroyed. Or, until the beginning of your opponent's next turn, you cannot lose the game. No matter what, even if you go to zero. But if you do not beat your opponent by the time of their starting of their turn, of their next turn, you auto lose. So, it gives you one extra turn, or it just keeps your monsters from being destroyed. We like it mainly for the monster not being destroyed, just because um, if we don't have any shields and the opponent has to kill us, most of our monsters, our good monsters, have counterattacks, so like we just they link attack and we just counterattack and just kill stuff all day long. So it's really good. Um, that is our last spell for the deck, guys. Now, last we play three copies of Wild Wise Trap. This is our impact for the deck. So. You can only cast this during your opponent's turn. Cast cost, pay to gauge. Call a size three prism dragon from your drop zone by paying its call cost and deal one damage to your opponent. So, the only two cards that we ever call with this card are the glass crystal dragon or our buddy, the spinal crystal dragon. So, at worst, we pay four gauge and call the glass crystal dragon. We deal the damage off this and then at the start of the final phase, deal three damage with this. Or, we call this 
pay three gauge because this is only normal call cost to pay one gauge and deal one damage off this and two damage off this. Either way, normally when we do this, we either limit our opponent to one life to where they can't play any of their uh, cards that require them to pay life or we just kill them. Um, people ask me why I do not use the one from the secret pack, the original impact, the one that counters pay two gauge and you can't nullify it or reduce it. The only thing you can do to survive is to gain life um, and deal four damage type deal. Um, I like it in this deck. This deck, this card works better. Um, it's one more gauge basically because normally we always call our buddy. It's one more gauge for one less damage. And it called the monster to the center, which it, we can do it during the attack phase and get a monster if we didn't have one. So it's really good. Um, this is the Prism Dragon deck. It has been modified slightly since the video that you guys saw. Not very much. Like, I've only put these in and I put... Uh, the only other thing I put in besides that was I put those. Probably can't see this. I put the selection of the Thors in since the video. I put the uh, little size zero and I put those in. Everything else is the same. Oh, I changed my buddy. My buddy went from the glass crystal dragon to the spinal crystal dragon. So added three cards. Well, swap three cards and uh, total six cards out and swap my buddy around. Um, this deck works great. Um, any deck that requires, that has to constant link attack for effects like Adventures, I'm gonna be straight. This this deck, if I get a size three first turn and I go first, and I have the cards that I normally do to loop out attacks or defend well without actually nullifying the attack, this deck shits on Avengers because I constantly counterattack the opponent and they can't do their link attacks over and over again to get over my high defense because my defense is always either a nine in the center or it's an eight. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I'm open to criticism about this. I made this deck. I got it the way I want it. But if you guys suggest something that I haven't thought of, of course I will try it out. I love trying new things. Um, but this is my Prism Burn Crystal Dragon deck. Um, let me know what you say. Thanks. Bye.